The G413 is the latest mechanical keyboard to come out of Logitech. Now I spent several hours with this keyboard playing in competitive games and using it every day around the office. And I must say, this keyboard is dope, especially for the price. Mechanical keyboards commonly cost over $100, especially those from well-known manufacturers. But the Logitech G413 only costs $89.99, making it one of the better values among mechanical keyboards on the market today. So let's get into what it has to offer. First, the G413 uses Logitech's own Romer G mechanical switch. It has a tactile bump at the actuation point, providing feedback when the signal of a keystroke is sent out, similar to the Cherry MX Brown. The actuation point on the Romer G is 1.5 millimeters, with a total travel distance of 3 millimeters. This technically makes it a faster switch than the Cherry MX equivalent, which has a 2 millimeter actuation point and 4 millimeter travel distance. The Romer G has an actuation force of 45 grams, common among lighter switches. The G413 sports a minimalist, low profile design, which is something I actually appreciate. All the keycaps are exposed, meaning they protrude out of the base, but there aren't any crevices for crumbs or dust to settle into. This makes it easy to keep the keyboard clean. A thick six foot braided cord splits off into two USB inputs. The keyboard requires either a single USB 3.0 connection or two USB 2.0 ports. Unlike previous Logitech keyboards, the G413 features a USB pass-through. The Logitech gaming software offers robust customizability, but this keyboard in particular doesn't have many features to tinker with. While this keyboard doesn't have dedicated macro keys, you can reprogram what the 12 function keys do. The G413 only has red backlighting. Its brightness can be adjusted on a granular level, but a breathing effect is the only alternate behavior available for the backlighting. The W, A, S, D, Q, E, R, and 1 through 5 keys can all be swapped using the handy keycap remover. The packaging comes with extra keycaps that have a slight groove, giving you an extra textured feel. In my experience, these keycaps didn't feel all that distinct since the grooves are pretty subtle. Nonetheless, you have the option. All the keycaps have a matte finish and a strong grippy surface for your fingertips. For the purpose of this review, I tested the G413 by playing a competitive match of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, a couple rounds of Overwatch, and a little bit of StarCraft II. If you're deep into Counter-Strike, then you know the importance of precise movement. And in my experience, the G413 proved to be responsive. Constantly strafing side to side and being able to stop on a dime is key in certain situations. Crouch jumping was easy enough, though I did find the space bar to be somewhat wobbly, which made jumping less responsive. However, I had no trouble walking and crouching at a moment's notice with the shift and control keys. Though I prefer linear switches in competitive first-person shooters, I appreciated the consistency of the Romer G's light tactile bump. Although it's still important, precise movement is a little less of a priority in Overwatch. But activating the right ability at the right time is paramount. Using the default keybinds, launching Farrah into the sky with her jetpacks, and reaching vantage points with Widowmaker's grappling hook proved effortless. Constant use of the spacebar is a little bit more common in Overwatch, which made the wobble feel of the spacebar a little bit more noticeable. Macro keys are one of the most useful features for keyboards when playing a real-time strategy game. Although the G413 doesn't have any macro keys, I figured jumping to StarCraft II could give a little bit more perspective on how this keyboard performs. While I could customize the function row for the actions I wanted, it wasn't the most intuitive way to play the game. Still, mashing a key to build multiple units felt great. I always emphasize that the best keyboard is one that fits your preferences. So if you're looking for a sleek, minimalist design keyboard with switches that have a light tactile bump, this keyboard should be on your radar. Its price tag makes it an attractive option among the competition, but keep in mind that it doesn't come with any crazy features. If that all sounds good, I would highly recommend this keyboard. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Now I know you like this video, so do us a favor and give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to GameSpot's channel for more tech and gaming coverage.